Look at the flowers. Hoping it doesn't get too cold tonight. We got it. Lights are on. Lights are on. And the, let's peek through. There's a, look at the flowers. Hoping it doesn't get too cold tonight. little opening at the top. Everybody, I wanted to show you what happened. The wrapping of the tree was an epic fail. Now I've got to pull off all this. Uh, well, it's off. It's off already. But this this is what happened. You know, we had we had it fully wrapped. We had the lights on it and everything. And it was ready for that storm coming through. It was really just a wind storm. So it was pretty much just the wind storm where, you know, the, the winds were coming in through the south. It was hot, it was warm. And then we had that cool front come through. We didn't get any storms or anything from it. 
Um, but we had that huge wind shift and we had a, a north wind and really we had missed the majority of the, the strong winds through the day previously, the south winds. Um, it, uh, they, I guess because where we're at, we were really protected from it, from the trees. So we weren't thinking that the north winds would do much worse. And, uh, or, or they just, we didn't realize the north winds that we did get. Um, cause we were in the 40 mile an hour, I think zone from the south. But anyway, when they changed around that evening, we had already gone in and um, had the lights on, had everything trying to protect those uh, apricot uh, flowers and buds. So anyway, I think it was, I actually think it was an hour or two later, you know, after dark, and we looked out and there was no lights on the tree. We couldn't see anything. So we came out here and the fuses had blown. Um, of course, we couldn't find any, any others. We couldn't find any more fuses. So we knew that it was shot on that end of it. And um, not sure why the fuses blew. There was only two strands of lights. Um, so then, you know, we went in after trying to find more and doing what we could. But uh, at some point, a little later, we looked out and the fabric was just off the tree, all the way, just blown back. So anyway, this attempt was an epic fail. <laughs> but I know that I know um, that this can work. Um, now this tree is out here, you know, in the open yard, subject to all the wind that comes out. So anyway, I know it's a good concept. I know it works. I just didn't, we did not secure the tree um, well enough for those types of winds, winds or that north wind that came through. Uh, I would say also that, um, We've got to make sure the lighting is um, not going to blow the fuses because that happened before the wind came in, and I'm not sure why, but um, it's, uh, and that's fine. The fuses could be old. It's not a big deal. I did buy a whole new box of fuses, so we'll get new fuses in, in these lights, and um, I will try again. The main thing is this particular variety of apricot tree, we never get any um, fruit off of it because this is Oklahoma. We have such highs and lows in, in the late winter and early spring, February, March. So um, this thing blooms so early, earlier than the peaches or anything. and um, so it just kind of dooms itself every year. So we might get a few little apricots, depending on the weather, the next so, you know, so many weeks. We've got, we've got probably five weeks until our average last frost date. So that's a long time to go for blooming fruit trees. So anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what, end up, what ended up um, transpiring with our uh, our tree wrapping project we will try again uh, we just have to figure out how to make it work for our tree we're going to top it off and give it a haircut so it's not as tall and then we got to figure out how to um, wrap it securely where the wind can't take it down but we tried but and I'll keep trying so um, I just wanted to uh, show you 
the fail. It, it was so beautiful when it was wrapped with the lights and the bulbs and it looked like a hot air balloon. Uh, my sister, I sent her a picture and she said, oh, Coco. My sister said, uh, oh, it looks like a rose. And um, I was, it was just so cool. But after a couple of hours, you know, the wind came and took it down. So, and I don't know how uh, strong those winds were. They were over 40, 45, something like that. So um, I'm not sure with that kind of wind, you know, it really could have had a chance at all. But anyway, guys, um, just wanted to bring you along for that. That was another epic fail. <laughs> but in theory, it works. And um, we'll keep trying. We'll keep trying next year. So we'll figure this out. So <laughs> uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for listening to this. And uh, let's try it again next time. We'll see you guys. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.